Right, well, welcome back to the channel everyone. So today I'm going to give you a bit of a Daytona update and you know on this channel I love affordable motorcycles, lightweight bikes, low tech bikes, uh, low capacity motorcycles. So anything that can bring you the joy and the satisfaction and the reward of motorcycling, I want that, that feeling to be accessible to everybody. So really somebody who's paying monthly repayments or has to get a credit check to access a motorcycle that if the world goes that way towards big capacity tech laden bikes it's really to the detriment of the average person because you should be able to pay a little bit of money the money that you've saved up in your bank account and be able to buy a bike like a royal enfield himalayan like a vosge 525 dsx like any of the cfs these are these amazing high value brands that offer so much for the money and they're the bikes I'm passionate about. That's why those bikes feature on this channel. So I've taken a Vosges 500 DSX, five and a half grand, took it all the way up to the fjords in Norway. I went down to Slovakia and I rode Slovakia's Route 66. Five and a half grand and I had the adventure of a lifetime. And I'll never forget doing those trips, those miles on those bikes, on that bike. I, I just absolutely loved it and that kind of biking is accessible if you if you know what to buy and where the value lies you don't have to have big bucks to to go adventuring so usually I would feature some of the aforementioned bikes we're talking about bikes under 10 grand usually under eight seven grand that's the kind of bikes I feature on the channel but I was reading ride magazine and I saw this uh, on the front cover it said £2,000 used bargains and that was enough to get me to buy the magazine. Never mind about skyhook suspension or radar cruise control or all that crap, electric bikes. I, I saw this thing, £2,000 used bikes. I thought, right, I'm buying the magazine. I'm going to spend £4.50 because I want to read that article. So I opened it up and it was basically three guys. They'd all in the last 18 months bought bikes that were under two grand, and they were detailing what the bikes were. They were happy with them and what they liked about them. And it was really interesting because the free bikes were all mid noughties or early noughties, mid nineties sports bikes or sport tourists. You had a VFR, ZX9R, and I think a Phaser was the last one. So they were all four cylinder uh, kind of sporty or sport tourer bikes. And then these, these people were so like happy. They loved the aspect of the bike. And if you think about it, that era of sporty bike was the best because that those bikes hadn't yet got horribly uncomfortable. They weren't track orientated. They weren't yet expensive. You could, buy, you could quite affordably get a sports bike in the early 2000s. And they also weren't stupidly powerful. And if you think about it, the ergos on these bikes, they are basically the same as a modern naked bike. Like if I was to get on this bike now, you see my feet would be kind of up here. Well, you can't see because the, the, it's too zoomed in, but the, the, the peg position isn't that horrific and the bar position isn't that bad. So because I already had this bike, I read this article and I thought, right, my Daytona is just languishing in the shed. Nothing's happening with it. What can I do with the Daytona just to, just to make me want to take it out? So I thought, I know, I'll convert this into a sports tourer bike. And this is something that you could actually do because these bikes, they're worth basically bugger all. Nobody wants to buy a, a, a mid 2000s sports bike they're worth about two grand and um, if i was to sell this now i'd probably get 1200 quid for it maybe 1500 if i put it on ebay on bids it's worth basically jack all and so i thought right what we're going to do we're going to convert the daytona into a sports tourer and the first thing that i did was i was putting um, clip-on risers on there which just raised the handlebars up about an inch and i've already got a comfortable a peg position bear in mind i've got 115 horsepower which is loads in today's day and age six gears so i've got that overdrive gear yes it is a 600 cc class bike was so actually a 646 cc but it kind of goes gets lumped in with the 599 cc bikes so it it revs up to 14,000 and above 10 is bonkers but if you short shift this bike you've got four cylinder engines buttery smooth and you can basically ride with no vibrations. Uh, and I've got comfortable seat, comfortable pegs, the bars are now up a little bit. And all I needed to make this bike a sports tourer was some luggage. 
So if you've watched the channel before, you know on my BSA Gold Star, I was working with Nice CNC and they sent me some wax canvas panniers, very retro looking pannier system. And so I thought, right, I'm just gonna reach out to them. I'll tell them about my idea. And they couldn't have been nicer. Nice CNC are just the best motorcycle company I've ever worked with. And I don't really endorse many companies. You won't see me doing like motorcycle Apple Play or camera systems, or you don't see me doing Bluetooth and everything like that. I don't endorse stuff that I don't believe in. And you know, it's not through lack of people sending you emails. Every company that, that you haven't heard of is always sending YouTubers like, oh, we'll send you this, feature it. Uh, and if I don't really think I like it, I just don't go with it. Uh, like it just all that tech stuff it's pointless i wouldn't buy it myself so i'm not going to push it on anyone but nice cnc the luggage i've had from them before was really good so i emailed them i said oh hi guys i'm doing this project i'm converting the daytona into a sports store um, have you got any luggage that potentially make me able to go away overnight go camping or whatever on this bike and they, were, they couldn't have been nicer about it. They emailed back straight away. Oh, we're so grateful you considered us. I mean, how nice is that? So appreciating to the customer or the, in my case, I'm collaborating with them, but they were so sort of like grateful and just like, just the energy of, of the people that work there is really lovely. I couldn't recommend them enough. I actually emailed a British company uh, also about this project, didn't reply at all. So it just shows that it's not where the company is based. It's, out, it's, it's about the people that work there and how like, just how, how they appreciate your custom. And in Nice Cincy's case, they definitely do. But anyway, enough about the people. I'm kind of a people person, so I, they, they just blew me away how good they are. But let's talk about the products I've actually been sent by them. So we've assembled a kit of motorcycle luggage. So we've got a tank bag, which contains a phone holder. It, I'll, I'll show you some close-ups of it in a minute. A tail pack and two soft side luggage pieces. Now, I've never had a tank bag, I've never had a tail pack, I've had side luggage before, but I've had the aluminium boxes or the retro side pieces. I haven't had this kind of soft, mod modern style luggage. So I'm just gonna whip my phone out and I'll show you some of the pieces they've sent. So for the start off, you can see my handlebar risers there. Nice CNC do sell those items, but I decided just to use the ones I got in the shed. Made the bike a little bit more comfortable. And then if we come up to here, we've got this uh, cool tank bag. Obviously got the phone holder there, touch sensitive, so you can, you can use it um, to type in your directions or press your sat nav if, you, if you're using one. And then you can also detach that, take your phone off. Uh, it's got a little Velcro and a, and a push clasp, which just clicks into place and then you secure it again. Now it secures using again, quick release. So with these straps here, you just slot those through. Oh, am I showing it correctly? Look at this golden hour light. It's pretty special, isn't it? So you just then pull that tight and it'll tighten up for you. But you can also use this as a, as a kind of a personal luggage. So what you can do is just rip this main unit off, off the, uh, the sort of the mount. It's all Velcro. And then you can just, if you've got your valuables in here, like your wallet, your phone, your passport and stuff, you can just take that off uh, and then it'll basically allow you to, to put it on your person and you've got a little personal strap as well. You have got detailed instructions, which I really love about Nice CNC. They, as silly as it sounds, it can be quite hard to put together uh, luggage on a bike when you've never used it before, especially as all bikes are different. You've got to find a mounting points and this kind of thing. It's not as easy as it looks to, to put luggage on a bike. So they give you this instruction booklet and you've got all this like alternative way, instructions be, alternative method and there's the thing which shows you wearing it as a leg bag like obviously it's very flexible everything in the pack and then you've got this waterproof cover as well so just put that back in there if you want to you can take out this waterproof cover and then cover over the top of the the tank bag coming back i'm particularly pleased with this look at this gold now lights it just looks so nice so here you've got the nice CNC tail pack. Now this is actually marketed for adventure bikes, but as you can see, look how good it looks on the back of my sport bike. Now, very, very water resistant. If you look at the zips of this piece, you see how they seal? I mean, how is water meant to get through that gap? It's, it's incredible. 
this material here, very, very water repellent. Got a few features on the top here, like the drawstring, quite like that. Again, if you want to take this piece off the bike quickly, you can just unclip these, and then you've also got a, like a carry handle. So for me, if I was carrying my camera equipment on this bike, obviously I wouldn't leave expensive, expensive camera equipment just here because it's not lockable. So I just unclip it and use the, the strap there, uh, take it on my person. Side pockets here with the extra straps they include. And again, even though this is very water resistant, if you're in a huge downpour, they give you a side piece, uh, not a side piece, a, uh, a waterproof um, kind of a cover there to put over the tank bag, just to give you extra protection. Now the bit I like most of the set is probably the side pieces. Now I've had, as I said, the soft wax cotton, wax canvas. I've had hard luggage. I've never had modern panniers like, that look like this. And the nice CNC items, they're about 80 pounds. So you've got to consider this is sort of like the sweet spot. You get premium features, but at a mid range price point. I don't think you want to go super cheap on luggage, but then I don't think you want to go up to the SW Motec level where basically a tank bag would cost you the same as all of this. You know, you could pay 200 pounds on a tank bag um, for some of the brands like uh, Givy, Shads, SW Motec, they're all great, but it's absolutely premium price points to go with the premium features. So if you look at these, very, very water repellent material, it's almost like one of those bags that you'd use to go canoeing. You know when you hire a paddleboard or something and they give you a bag, or kayaking, and they give you a bag that you can take, and basically if it gets submerged in water, you're still fine. So it's great material, and also if you unclip it, let me just show you. You see it's secured by four quick release things, and then you actually unroll it. And then inside, it's like a giant welly boot. So not only do you get a little bit of flexibility, that's just the inside of it, with how much luggage you put in there, because it, it, can, it can move a little bit, but you can also, say instead of rolling it three times, which they recommend, you could roll it two times. And then when you clip it back together, I'll just quickly demonstrate on one of the clips. You, what you could do, you could adjust how tight that is, just to give you a little bit of extra room in the top of the pannier. So I, I'm over the moon with this kit uh, from Nice CNC. I don't even mind the branding, to be honest. Um, they've obviously got that in gold there, and the tank bag. They do, they do quite he quite heavily promote the brand. I, I'm okay with that. I think this it's really nice. I quite like the fact that it all matches. But for me, having this kit now. The Daytona, as I mentioned, with that horsepower, six speed, I'm set. I can go all over the UK or even further abroad with a bike that will cost you a thousand pounds if you buy it in winter. This kit here is probably about 160 pounds. And, and I'll just stop this video. I think of where you can go now on this bike. It, like if you were to buy the, like a, a, a sports bike, some clip-ons, um, get one with an MOT, get some of this nice CHC luggage and I just think you'd be away. It's such an affordable way to go motorcycle touring and so I, I'm going to go out on some adventures with this bike. Uh, let me know what you think about the prospect of an older but comfortable sports bike as a touring option and also let me know what you think about the nice CNC kit. I'm so impressed with this stuff and what I'm going to do I forgot to say, there's little clasps here that actually secure the straps, uh, like a little ratchet thing that folds down. It's really, really high quality. What I'm going to do, I'm going to fit this stuff on the Gold Star, which might be a bit of a weird thing to say, fitting modern luggage, but I'm so happy with the tank bag and this tail pack and these things. I think that having an older looking bike, but with modern luggage, I don't think it's actually that offensive. You might disagree, you might be in for the leather, leather side panniers, but I'm so impressed with these, I'm gonna put them on the Gold Star um, and just see how I get on with them on there as well because I just think they're so water repellent, they're so convenient, that that for me is more important. And the tail pack, I just think so good for holding camera equipment. Um, I'm really made up. So thank you to Nice CNC for sending me the kit. Thank you guys for listening and uh, let me know what you think and I will catch you in the next one. All right, see you later guys.